Hi, my name's Derek Hullinger. I have a PhD in physics, and I'm going to give kind of a beginner's guide to quantum mechanics or quantum physics in just a few minutes' time. So quantum physics or quantum mechanics describes how things behave on a really small scale, like atoms and, and subatomic particles. And the main idea behind quantum physics is that some things that we normally think of as particles in certain situations act like they're actually waves. And on the other hand, some things that we normally think of as waves sometimes act like they're particles. And a good example is electrons. We usually think of electrons as particles. And we usually think of light as being a wave. But there are situations where light acts like a particle or electrons act like a wave. And here's a good example of that. If you take light, and a coherent beam of light, and shine it on two slits that are close together, so here's a beam of light shining on these two slits. Each slit acts like it emits its own, its own beam of light. And if you have a screen over here, you'll see a bright spot and a dark spot, and a bright spot and a dark spot, and a bright spot, and you'll see a pattern like this. And you can actually predict this based on the fact that light is a wave. Well, it turns out that if you take the light away and you do the same thing with a beam of electrons, so got all these little electrons coming along and hitting this screen, guess what? They do the same thing. You end up with a region here where a whole bunch of electrons hit, and a region here where a whole bunch of electrons hit, and a region here, and then between them, places where not many electrons hit. So it's as if the electrons are waves instead of, instead of um, particles. On the other hand, suppose you've got an atom like this. Here's the nucleus, and let's say that there's an electron that's orbiting around the nucleus, and it's up in a certain energy state, and it drops down to a lower energy state. This happens all the time to atoms, and whenever it does, a photon gets shot out which is actually a little packet of energy. And it really makes the most sense to imagine what's happening if you picture light as being made up of all these little packets of energy, or photons, or particles of light. So this is a situation where, fo where light acts like particles. So this idea that light, or that, that particles and waves can kind of be Electrons can act like one or the other, light can act like one or the other is called wave-particle duality, and it leads to a lot of really strange things. Things like um, an object being in two places at the same time, or an object coming to a physical wall and suddenly being on the other side of it without actually traveling through the wall, or making a measurement over and over again and getting different results each time, even though you do the exact same experiment the exact same time. It's just like rolling the dice. You never know what you're going to get. So those are some of the weird things that happen in quantum physics because of this wave-particle duality.